Hi, this is Phil with Castle. I want to give you some quick tips on how to position your Castle 110 for more efficient pocket cutting. But first, I want to make sure you check out our video called the Castle 110 Overview. We'll put a link up here so you can get a better idea of what makes the Castle 110 special. Again, this is a low angle pocket cutter. The pocket is at 3 degrees versus 15 degrees, what you'll see on a drilled pocket. A lot of advantages, we go over that in the video, so check that out. So I've got uh, the Castle 110 clamped to my workbench. I've left about 12 inches off of this edge. I've got uh, the machine tilted about 15 degrees off of this edge. I got it clamped down with a quick grip, just about any clamp will work. There's also a clamp port over here. Um, so again, this area here is for our drill. And the way the machine works, I'm going to put this off to the side. There's a router bit that comes out of the table. You'll see that in the 110 overview uh, video. If I clamp it down, I pull down from the pocket lever, I cut the pocket, I grab my drill, go into the drill guide, and I drill the pilot hole. So this whole motion right here is super simple if you've got everything in this particular position here. So for general stock, um, you know, say face frame stock, uh, table skirts, things that just aren't that wide, uh, this is pretty much all you'll need. It'll be uh, well supported, the clamp's super strong. However, if you've got longer stock or you've got panels, one of the easiest things to do is make yourself a support. This is just out of scrap plywood, a scrap 2x4. And we're going to position this um, off the center of the machine here. We're kind of going to even it out. So it's going to overhang this side of the tabletop just a little bit. So if you can imagine that as a long piece, you can see how nice and easy that's going to make. But let's grab a panel and we'll see how that works. So this makes it super, super simple to cut your pockets. Now there's another video that we just did. Uh, on the Castle 110 uh, work stops. It's an optional accessory. So we have two work stops and we have a work stop bar. Now there's a secondary uh, feature of this uh, and we'll go over that now. It's going to help with alignment on panels in this fashion. So let me set this up. I'm going to put in the work stop bar in the machine and then we're going to take the work stop. Uh, the work stops typically they go in this fashion when you're actually butting wood up, up to it, but we're gonna flip it around. There's a tab, an alignment tab that is in the same plane as the fence. You'll see what I mean. It's gonna give us a wider base plate. So now we've got a much wider surface to help keep our stop in alignment with the actual pocket cutter. Let me move this out of the way. One other super nice feature of the Castle 110 is, is that we don't necessarily have to have it clamped to the workbench in this fashion. So let's say for instance we've got a big panel, whether it's a case side, a bookcase side, it's a little awkward to bring up to the machine. We can actually bring the 110 to it. So I've got another 110 here. I'm going to clamp this to the, the workbench just to simulate a, a workpiece. So we can simply clamp it here, cut our pocket, drill our pilot hole, and move on. Uh, super nice. Even if you have a pre-installed piece, we can uh, do the uh, same thing uh, horizontally as well. So I hope this video helps you, makes you a little bit more efficient with your Casa 110. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next video. Mm -hmm.